We've all been there. We've all had zip files that are way too big. So I wrote a software in Python to split it up into smaller sizes. I personally use the app to split up files so they could fit on DVDs. Since this file is 511 megabytes, let's split it up by 150 megabytes. All right, and that's it. It's split it up into four parts. It's just as easy to merge it back together. All you have to do to merge it back together is hit this button and select the first one. Boom, puts it back into one zip file. First, we import Ascension modules. OS, this module allows us to interact with the operating system, such as checking if the file exists or removing files. SHU2 provides high level file operations like copying and removing files. Tikinta, this is the standard GUI toolkit for Python. File dialog and message box from Tikinta. These are specialized modules for opening file dialogs and displaying message boxes to the user. The default split size, so by default we open up to 4200 megabytes, but the user is able to change that. And then we get into defining the main application class. We start by defining the zip app class, which will handle our application's logic and GUI components, and the underscore underscore init underscore underscore method. We initialize the main application window and assign it to self dot root. Then we set the window title to zip splitter and merger. Then in the next few sections, we create a label prompting the user for the split size and pack it into the window. We initialize a string var to hold the user's input for the split size, setting its default value to default underscore split underscore size underscore megabyte. We then create an entry widget linked to self dot split underscore size underscore var for user input and packet. We add buttons for splitting and merging, each linked to the respective methods, self dot split underscore zip and self dot merge underscore parts. Finally, we add a label self dot progress to display progress messages to the user. In the split underscore zip method, we prompt the user to select a zip file using a file dialog. If no file is selected, the method exits. We retrieve the split size entered by the user and attempt to convert it to an integer. If the input is valid, an error message is displayed, and the method exits. We then calculate the split size in bytes by converting megabytes to bytes. Then we get into splitting the file. Here, we open the selected zip file in binary read mode. We initialize a counter part underscore num to keep track of the part numbers. We read chunks of the file equal to the split size. In the loop, we create a file name for each part by appending the part number to the original file name. We write the chunk to a new part file in binary write mode. We increment the part number and read the next chunk. We then get into updating progress. After splitting, we update the progress label to inform the user how many parts were created. Next is defining the merge method. In the merge underscore parts method, we prompt the user to select one of the zip parts. Extract the base file name by removing the last extension to identify the original zip file. And we check if the base file name ends with dot zip if not, display an error message and exit. We then get into merging the parts. Here, we open the base zip file in a binary write mode to start merging the parts back together. We initialize a counter part underscore num. In an infinite loop, we generate the file name for the current part. If the part file doesn't exist, break the loop. Open the part file and copy its contents to the base file. Delete the part file after copying to clean up and increment the part number. We then get into updating progress after merging. After merging all parts, we update the progress label to inform the user that the merging is complete. And then running the application. Finally, we initialize the main sequencer window, create an instance of our zip app class, passing the root window. Start the sequencer event loop with root.main loop to run the application. 
And that's our complete zip splitter and merger application. We've covered every part of the code, especially the key sections highlighted with comments. This script allows users to split large zip files into smaller chunks and merge them back together, which is useful when dealing with storage media limitations or file size restrictions. Check out the code on GitHub and try modifying it to suit your needs. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.